I have now to our reporter Artie Ntengarnap standing by outside where Parliament met today in Cape Town. Artie, good afternoon to you. It's a momentous day, a historic day, first time this has happened. What reaction there today? A historic day indeed, Stephen, even given the fact that the Section 194 Committee had embarked on work that had never been done before in South Africa in the democratic dispensation. It's the first time the head of a Chapter 9 institution has had this kind of process embarked to inquire and look at the charges levels against her insofar as incompetence and misconduct. The Constitution, of course, says to remove a head of a Chapter 9 institution, there are certain processes that have to take place, and those processes have indeed taken place. And at the second last step being this one with the National Assembly confirming and adopting that report through the majority number, 318 voting in favor of the adoption of the a Section 194 report, which will ultimately land before President Sir Ramaphosa's desk, where he'll have to, of course, make the final final decision. It's ultimately a done decision given the uh, outcomes and the findings of uh, the report. But I do have the ATM, one of the parties in the National Assembly and even during the hearings. Um, the ANC, can, can you get a reaction from the ANC? You're live right now on, on Newsroom. You're live right now on Newsroom. No. <laughs> Minister, you're on live television right now. Well, uh, we know the stance of the ANC, at least in this regard. Let's speak to the ATM then. The EFF said that this will certainly not go unchallenged. Are you of the same view? Yeah, definitely of the same view that there has been a lot of contradictions, inconsistencies and a flawed process. Therefore, um, the legal challenge will definitely support it as ATM because from the onset, Advocate Mkweban had to fight up until the level of the Constitutional Court for her to get legal presentation, even throughout the process. And the chairperson was biased, and the fact that they changed the method of her testimony from um, oral testimony to written testimony um, while she was already on the stand clearly shows that there was a, a predetermined outcome. So we're definitely going to support such a process as the ATM. When you look at the work that was done before the Section 194 Committee, the evidence leaders there, Advocate Nazreen Bauer and Ngomisa uh, Yossi there, in collection and compiling of that report, and when you look at the charges that have been sustained, and you look at what it takes as per the Constitution to remove a head of a Chapter 9 institution, what do you make of the actual findings? Look, um, it is very clear that, number one, this was a political process, a political process that was sponsored by the DA. A DA, when um, Advocate Mkwebane was um, nominated and appointed to be the public protector, the DA went as far as calling her a spy, went uh, as far as making so, ma so many wild allegations. Therefore, this process was already designed to reach a particular outcome. So if you look at the evidence that is there, um, there's no evidence in our view that warrants that Advocate Mkwebane must be impeached because the manner in which this inquiry was conducted, it was very clear from the onset that there's only one outcome in which it is designed to go, which is the, 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 the impeachment of Advocate Mkwebane. Thank you so much for your time. Aviolo to Zungula talking to us about the outcomes of the uh, hearing inside, well, the sitting of uh, the National Assembly, which means now that the President will have to consider this recommendation, not only by the Section 194 Committee through that report, but also of the National Assembly through the majority of those numbers.